Hey Taurus, hope y'all are doing great. Hope your week upcoming is going to be awesome. Hope your holiday everything is going smoothly <laughs> during this Mercury retrograde we get going on here. All right, so this is just going to be your reading for the upcoming week, okay? Take what resonates, leave the rest. Keep in mind this could be external energy to you and it's just sort of a confirmation or heads up or whatever for you, okay? Um, it could apply to any of your placements in Taurus, so um, keep that in mind. Follow any placements that you think might help you at this time, okay? Um, hit that like, subscribe, share, okay, if you haven't already. And let's get into it. All right, Spirit, let's pull for final guidance here with the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle, please, and thank you, which we will read at the end. One, please, thank you, for Taurus. like the look of that. I caught a glimpse. All right. Let's get some overall energy, please. Timing and identifier. What's going on for Taurus at this time? Luck is on your side. New moon and Sagittarius, which is still technically right now. Timing. Okay. Let me fix that. You could be also dealing with Sagittarius. Or some kind of Sagittarius placement, okay? That was what it could be about for you. Let's see. Tell me more spirit for Taurus. All right. First quarter. Challenges, time for action, break through old blocks and patterns, push through and stop at nothing, doing the work and momentum. So whatever you've been doing, keep on doing it, okay? There may be something that might kind of... Uh, Get in the way <laughs> temporarily, okay? Wouldn't focus too much on it. You do have luck on your side at this time, okay? This could just be external energy around you that's frantic, distracting, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see. Is this regarding spirit? You could be dealing with Pisces. This also could be your intuition picking up as well, or maybe a trigger of some fear with the moon energy here, okay? All right. Maybe something that is not going to be dealt with just yet or finalized, I'm hearing. Maybe this is something that's ongoing, so you need that momentum for, okay? All right. I'm just really guided to the smirk on that guy's face. So maybe someone's just getting all up in their ego and being testy, right? And they think they're so, such, you know, hot shit or whatever, right? Maybe you're going to be dealing with an arrogant or ignorant energy. They do go hand in hand. So We'll see here. This is faster. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Maybe they wear boots. That could be an identifier. Keep going, right? You got to do, do that work. Momentum. Push through and stop at nothing. Temporary problems. All right. Let's get two more, please. Oh, nice. All right. Chain of events that will affect your life. maybe this is just one step in the process okay you could have already had a few links to that chain already happening but this could be the first as well and surrounding a misunderstanding with wall here okay All right, let's pull a few chakra cards spirit please and thank you Taurus need to know regarding handling this energy or identifying this energy. Inspiration 11, Sacral Chakra. Ooh. Earth Star Chakra 3 and Nurturing. Stay grounded. Nurture the situation with love. Approach with love, okay? There may be something that kind of becomes enlightening about the situation as well. Um, it may be unrelated to the person or situation, but it may trigger like some kind of inspiring thing um, 
as far as your creativity is concerned, okay? We also have the Crown Shocker here with Peace and 31. We also have the 11th, the number 2, the 3rd, 3, 31, and 4. February, March, April could be significant, or those dates could be important. 11, 3rd, 31, 31st, okay? We have beauty. See the beautiful things and everything. Look to the bright side. Express that gratitude. Keep your vibration high, okay? Reflection. I know that it's probably just a reflection. It could be projecting as well, all right? But this may showcase something to you about yourself that's unrelated, that actually you can help change, okay, or heal, right? Things might be changing in this situation for you, okay? I'm definitely hearing enlightenment with this. Like, you're going to become enlightened by something, okay? That's going to help raise your spirits. And that most assuredly will be a chain of events that will affect your life because you'll be able to see things better, right? Kitsune, I will show you whom to trust. Ooh, that talks of paying attention to redheads as well as anyone that's fox-like, okay? <laughs> All right. Number two, again, February energy. Little Aulen wisdom as light as a feather. Use your intellect and your discernment at this time. 39, 12, and 3 again. 25 and 5, uh, 23 and 5. Quetzalcoatl and the priestess of time. The time has come. Act now, okay? So don't delay. You know, if you see something or you sense something or you get inspired by something, make a note of it, okay? Really, really act on it at this time, okay? Don't stall. Be clear. I have a feeling whatever energy you're going to be around is going to be unclear with that misunderstanding card, okay? All right. Tell me more, Spirit. Message of concern. Okay. Could be a shocking message. They might communicate. 14 and 5. Again, definitely some kind of change here. 33, that is a master number, so that might be a significant sign of sync for you at this time. Again, with the concern. Let's see how much it's based in reality here or not. This could be a presumptuous energy. <laughs> Wealthy man, there we go, an identifier for you. 13 and 4 again. All right. This is typically a masculine energy, 20s or 30s. This could be someone that's entrepreneurial. Um, they could be wealthy <laughs> or just, you know, really see their self-worth. Okay. On this card, you have finances. You have a, a bank vault that he's sitting in. He's wearing, he's very fancily dressed, dressed to impress kind of energy, right? So that could be his vibe. Tell me more spirit. Are you able to see all these cards? Hold on. That's it. There we go. <laughs> I really should mark the table. All right. Ace of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or that could be you. This is definitely a new beginning that's going to make you happy. All right. This might be something that enlightens you as well with the sun energy. I also see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Sag twice. All right. Garden with event here with friends, new romance, beauty and peace abound. All about celebrating and being joyous, okay? You also have the Eight of Swords here, so someone's obviously stuck in their head, okay? And this could just be like a Christmas party, too. You also have the Page of Wands, Cancer, Leo, Virgo energy. Normally, this is good communication, but I'm kind of feeling with the Birch Rod here that um, I think this is someone coming and just completely unarmed with details and facts responding. They might be triggered. Okay, Taurus, they might be triggered. All right. That's why you need to sort of have sort of like this nurturing kind of peaceful energy about you responding to them. Okay. It may be a little immature in communication as well. All right. 
this could be a husband wife situation or a relationship okay maybe they're you know maybe they're going through something with their mate okay and they're just kind of like project again did say projection energy so they could be projecting it out okay 31 and 4 again 20 and 2 again and 11 again so definitely somebody's manifesting here maybe there's choices partnerships something to have to figure out okay tell me about kitsune spirit Whom should Taurus trust? What should they look for? Sign synchronicity person in the tangible here. One. Okay, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That could be the Pisces, all right? Um, and it's usually just an indication. Uh, this could be an indication of just repressed emotions, you know. Um, ooh, maybe there's some kind of divorce here. Okay. Um, end of relationship, bad news. And I was feeling that with the page of wands here in the message of concern. So maybe this is someone, I just heard gossip. Okay. Maybe this is someone talking about someone else and their situation. Okay. There is definitely a lack of uh, self-care and self-love here. And they could be, you know, projecting too. All right. Hmm. What else, Spirit? What else can we do? And it could just be based on a limited, like I said, limited lack of knowledge or fact in a situation, right? Like as if it's their business anyway, but it's creating a temporary problem, okay? All right, what's the Taurus? <laughs> How should Taurus respond? How should they act? <laughs> there we go. All right, the King of Cups in reverse. Are you trying to say that they should just be um, intolerant? No, I'm really getting more of the vibe of just um, not feeding too much emotion into the situation, okay? Self-compassion is here too, all right? Do what you feel is necessary at this time, okay? All right. And how is this going to affect things? this chain okay it might cause some withdrawal or isolation okay and with the immaturity energy and that could be them all right all right if Taurus is in their king of cups upright energy what will happen next Oh, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Sorry, I'm just kind of focusing on it right now. Okay. Um, it's definitely going to trigger their energy. All right. Either way, it looks like they're both... Either way, no matter how you respond, they're going to be stuck. <laughs> withdrawal kind of energy or just be complacent okay there might be some stubbornness i don't know i'm getting a real sense of just woosa okay um but do you you do you all right how you normally would respond it really just depends on who this is for you this could be a family member this could be a child okay or a teenager even with the knight of pentacles energy here all right I do almost get like it could be, you know, it's just a phase <laughs> kind of energy, right? That's why it's like no time soon. Follow your intuition on this one. See, see how you feel about it, all right? Aim for peace and love and light and all that good stuff, right? Um, use your discernment on this situation here. You might have to just kind of deal with things as is or on the fly, okay? I get the feeling that this energy might switch up before you even get to it, too. So bear that in mind, okay? Let's get your final guidance. Merriment. As I knock everything down. All right, be careful. Don't move too fast. <laughs> the energy might be a little domino effect here, okay? 21. Again with that for you. 
What joy, what glee, leans from the sounds of voices, uplifting the webs of sorrow, glimmering as if no tomorrow. Happiness and following your soul. You never know what tomorrow holds. Our ancestors were very aware of day-to-day -day dangers. A hunting trip could go wrong or a disease could wipe out an entire village. Perhaps that is why celebrations were such grand affairs. And we do have a vent here, so this could be a this could be confirmation it's a celebration or some sort of gathering, okay? And a lot's going on. They were reminders to enjoy life when you could. What our ancestors didn't have are the opportunities we have today. It's never been easier to seek higher education, start your own business, or move away to a faraway place. Imagine what our ancestors would have done if so many paths to success and joy were available to them. This card guides you to act on the things that bring you joy. Start a business if that aligns with your soul or switch careers. Sign up for vocal training or retire early to spend more time with your family. Merriment has come to, your, has come to you because your soul is yearning for more moments of happiness that you're not currently getting in your current position. Okay. And it doesn't even have to be work. I do see it's just kind of working with others. This definitely gives a family vibe here, okay? Or really close social circle, but, okay? There you go, Taurus. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. I'll see you next week, all right? Bye. Happy holidays.